Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Peppa Pig Best Friends. Once upon a time, Peppa's best friend Susie Sheep came to play. I have something to show you, said Susie. Susie held up a photograph of a baby sheep. Look, it's me, said Susie. You are not a baby, Susie, said Peppa, shaking her head. This is an old photo, Susie explained. It was taken when I was a baby. Peppa snorted. She did not remember Susie being a baby. That was just silly. Susie pointed at Peppa. In the olden days, you were a baby too, she said. I don't remember being a baby, said Peppa. But you were insisted, Susie. Ask your mommy. Peppa and Susie raced inside. Mommy Pig was working on the computer. Mommy, cried Peppa. Susie is making up stories. No, I'm not, Susie said. Peppa told Mommy Pig about Susie's silly idea. I don't remember being a baby, Peppa insisted. But you were a baby, Peppa, said Mommy Pig. Mommy Pig pulled up a picture of a baby pig on the computer. Who do you think this is, Peppa? she asked. Peppa thought that the baby looked like her cousin, Baby Alexander. Is it Baby Alexander? she asked. No, replied Mommy Pig. That's you as a baby, Peppa. Peppa was surprised. She had been a baby. Hehehe. <laughs> Peppa and Susie giggled. Baby Peppa looked very cute. George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, said Peppa, that's me as a baby. I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig told Peppa, Susie and George that they had moved into their house when Peppa was very little. We brought all our things on the top of our car, he said. Mommy Pig put up some pictures, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put up a shelf, said Mommy Pig. And Grandpa Pig made us a lovely flower garden. Peppa and Susie went outside. There was no flower garden at this house. Why don't we have a flower garden now? Peppa asked. We used to, but Daddy Pig looked after it. Mommy Pig sighed. Hmm, said Daddy Pig, embarrassed. We had the wrong kind of soil for the flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days? Asked Peppa. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. You and Susie have always been best friends. Peppa wondered what games she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? She asked. No, Mommy Pig laughed. You were babies. You could not even walk yet. What did we do when we were babies? Asked Susie. You cried, you burped, and you laughed, said Mommy Pig. Susie and Peppa giggled. It must have been so silly being babies. Hee 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 hee. Baby Peppa, baby Susie. Then you grew into toddlers, continued Mommy Pig. And 
you played together all the time. But where was George? Peppa asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mommy Pig. Peppa thought for a moment. Daddy Pig's tummy was even bigger than Mommy's. Is there a baby in there? She asked. No, Peppa, chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muscle. Soon, George was born. Mommy Pig said, Grandpa and Grandma Pig brought him a very special present. Can you guess what it was, Peppa? Peppa knew just what present it must have been. Mr. Dinosaur, she cried. Goo goo, grrr. Daddy Pig said that little Peppa and Susie liked to do everything together. They liked to jump, dance and run around all over the place. Then one day, said Mommy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle. You love jumping up and down in muddy puddles together said Mommy Pig. Peppa, George and Susie all ran outside. I still love muddy puddles, cried Peppa. Me too, cried Susie. Peppa, George and Susie looked for the biggest muddy puddle they could find and jumped right in. Daddy Pig brought his camera. Let's take a photo of you, Susie and George now. Peppa, he said. Yes, exclaimed Peppa, because Susie and I were best friends in the olden days and we are still best friends now. Click! Little or big, Peppa and Susie will always be best friends and they will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Peppa Pig Super Peppa There is a surprise visitor at Peppa's playgroup today. It's Super Potato. By the power of vegetables, I'm here, shouts Super Potato. Wow, Peppa says. She loves Super Potato. Super Potato has lots of amazing powers. Candy Cat wants to know how he can run so fast? That's a good question. I would say from eating Brussels sprouts. Super Potato replies. Super Potato can also fly. He uses his cape to soar through the skies. Peppa loves to watch Super Potato on television. At home, Peppa cannot stop talking about Super Potato. She thinks he is the coolest visitor ever. When I grow up, I want to be super, just like Super Potato, Peppa tells Mommy Pig. Hmm, Mommy Pig replies, she gets an idea. Mommy takes Peppa to Daddy's Pig's Muddy Puddle Jumping Competition. Daddy Pig leaps up high into the air and lands with a perfect splash. Wow, Daddy! Peppa cries. You are a super muddy puddle jumper. Next, Peppa visits Miss Rabbit. She follows Miss Rabbit room one task to the next. They race from supermarket to the fire station to the museum and then to the movie theater. After that, 
Miss Rabbit takes some visitors for a helicopter ride. And she and Peppa give everyone yummy ice cream cone. Wow, Miss Rabbit, you are super at everything, Peppa says as Miss Rabbit drives everyone home on the train. If you work hard, you can be super at anything, says Miss Rabbit. Back at home, Peppa is worried. Daddy Pig is super at jumping and Miss Rabbit is super at so many things, Peppa says. But I don't feel super at anything. Maybe I will never be a superhero. Being super is not just about having superpowers, says Mommy Pig. Today you gave everyone ice cream and spent time with Daddy Pig. You made everyone happy. That's what being super is about. Mommy Pig is right. Peppa might not be able to fly or run fast, but she can always try her best, work hard and do nice things for others. The next day at play group, Peppa shows up in a superhero costume. I'm not a superhero, says Peppa, but I'm a super, super Peppa. All the other children want to be super just like Peppa. So she helps them do super things like play with one another and share toys. Every day we can be a little more super, Peppa says. We just need to practice and try really hard. The children cheer. They love being super. Everyone loves being super. The end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Peppa Pig, let's go shopping, Peppa. One morning, Peppa and her family took a trip to the supermarket. Peppa and George jumped out of the car in excitement. They loved visiting the supermarket. First, we need a card, said Peppa. There was so much to see inside. Can we get one of everything? asked Peppa. No, Peppa, that would be far too much, replied Mommy Pig. But how do we know what to get? asked Peppa. We use a shopping list, Mommy Pig said, showing Peppa a piece of paper. We have four things on our list today. Peppa and Mommy Pig read the list together. The first item on the list was tomatoes. Four tomatoes, spaghetti, four onions, fruit. I can see the tomatoes, shouted Peppa. Peppa counted four tomatoes as Mommy Pig put them into a bag. One, two, three, four. She skipped off to put them in the cart. Daddy Pig crossed tomatoes off the list. What next? asked Mommy Pig. Spaghetti! shouted Peppa. Spaghetti! shouted George. Spaghetti was Peppa and George's favorite meal. Peppa found the spaghetti and put it in the cart. Well done, Peppa! said Mommy Pig. Peppa helped find the onions that were on the list too. The very last item on the list was fruit. I will get it, said Peppa. It's George's turn now, said Mommy Pig. How about bananas, suggested Peppa, or apples, or pears, or oranges? 
Jar shook his head. He did not want any of those. He wanted a very big watermelon. Snort. Jar was very happy with his choice, even though it was bigger than him. Daddy Pig gave Jar the watermelon. It was very heavy. Jar dropped the watermelon in the cart. Rattle, rattle. It was so big the whole cart shook. He he he. Everyone laughed. Well done, Jot, said Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig crossed off the shopping list. That's everything, said Mommy Pig. Let's head to the checkout and pay. At the checkout, Peppa and Daddy Pig put the food on the conveyor belt. Miss Rabbit scanned each item. Tomatoes, beep. Onions, beep. Watermelon, beep. Spaghetti, beep. Chocolate cake, beep. Chocolate cake? Asked Mommy Pig. That was not on the list. Er, uh, said Daddy Pig, holding up the chocolate cake with a guilty look on his face. I thought it might be nice for dessert. Daddy Pig said Mommy Pig. Sorry, said Daddy Pig, turning red. It just looks so delicious. Snort. It does look yummy, said Mommy Pig. Let's pretend it was on our list. Hooray! Everyone cheered. When Peppa and her family arrived home, it was time for dinner. They had delicious spaghetti followed by a big piece of watermelon and a great big slice of chocolate cake. Peppa, George, Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig loved going shopping for food, but they loved eating it most of all. The end. For watching, I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Peppa Pig, George's new dinosaur. George's favorite toy is Mr. Dinosaur. George likes bouncing Mr. Dinosaur in the garden, playing him at bath time, and curling with him when he goes to sleep. At bedtime, Peppa says, George, I think Mr. Dinosaur is broken. George is very upset. Mommy and Daddy Pig came to see why George is crying. Poor George says Daddy Pig, maybe it's time you got a new dinosaur. The next day, Peppa, George and Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig visits Mr. Fox shop. I'm sure we will find a lovely dinosaur here, George says Mommy Pig. Look George, says Daddy Pig, pointing to shop window. There is a big one. Oh, dinosaur, says George. Good morning, says Mr. Fox. Can I help you? We like to buy the dinosaur in the window. Please, says Daddy Pig. Good choice, says Mr. Fox. This is Dino Roar. He walks, he talks and he sings. Dino Roar, says George. We will take it, says Daddy Pig. George is playing with Dino Roar in the garden. Dino Roar sings, Dino Roar, Dino Roar, listen to Dino Roar, Roar. Careful George, says Daddy Pig, don't play too roughly because Dino Roar will break. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. Splash, splash, splash. Dino Roar says George. Mommy Pig says, George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he will stop working. 
Peppa and George are asleep in the bed, but suddenly Tiny Roar comes to life. Listen to Tiny Roar, roar! George says, "Peppa, Tiny Roar has woken me up. Maybe Tiny Roar should sleep somewhere else," says Daddy Pig, taking Tiny Roar away. George is feeling sad. He cannot play with Tiny Roar in the garden, or the bath, or even in bed. Don't worry, George," says Mummy Pig brightly. "Tiny Roar can still roar. Tiny Roar, listen to Tiny Roar. Tiny Roar, stop walking and talking completely." I think the batteries must have run out," says Mummy Pig. "Already? How many are there?" grumbles Daddy Pig. As battery pour out of Tiny Roar, hundreds and thousands," cries Peppa. Suddenly, Peppa spots something green under a bush. "What's this?" says Peppa. "Is it a trumpet?" "You have found Mr. Dinosaur's tail," says Mommy Pig. "Now Daddy Pig can fix him. He might be." Bit difficult to fix," says Daddy Pig doubtfully. But the tail's tail slips perfectly into place. Ho ho ho! Chuckles Daddy Pig. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur," says Peppa. Dinosaur," says George. George is so happy to have his favorite toy back. Click. The end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Peppa Pig, Peppa's first sleepover. Peppa is going to her very first sleepover at Zoe Zebra's house. Welcome to my sleepover, Zoe says. I will pick you up in the morning, Mommy Pig tells Peppa with a kiss. Have fun. Rebecca Rabbit, Susie Sheep, and Emily Elephant are already there. I have my teddy. Peppa says, "Zoe has her monkey. Rebecca has her carrot. Susie has her owl, and Emily has her frog." Mommy Zebra dims the lights in the living room. Don't stay up too late, girls, and don't be too loud. Daddy Zebra has to get up early to deliver the mails. Zoe, baby twin sisters. Zuzu and Zaza want to join the sleepover. Sleepovers are for big girls only, Zoe says. The twins begin to cry. Wah! They are so sweet and little, Peppa says. Can they stay? Rebecca asks. Okay, Zoe says to the twins. But you must promise not to fall asleep. What should we do first? Susie asks. I'm taking piano lessons. Listen, Zoe starts to pound on the keys. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Mommy Zebra has woken up. Shh, shh, you must be quiet so Daddy Zebra can sleep. Now into your sleeping bags, please. Snot. What do we do now? Peppa asks. At the sleepovers, there is always a midnight feast. Zoe says. It's when we eat things. Susie says in a hushed voice. In secret. Shh. Zoe whispers. She quietly leads the girls into the kitchen. As they walk, the floorboards creak. 
Oh no, the noise has woken up mommy zebra up again. Girls, you will make daddy zebra. Now, who knows a bedtime story. The girls take turns telling a story. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy. Susie begins, and she lived in the forest. Peppa continues, and the fairy met a big monster who went roar. And Emily makes a big elephant trumpet noise. Oh dear, the noise has woken Daddy Zebra. Sorry, Daddy Zoe. Says there was a story about a fairy and a scary monster, and we want to know what happens next. Peppa says, "Very well." Daddy Zebra says, "The monster lifted up his great, big, hairy paws and walked along on his great, big, hairy feet and sang, 'Twinkle, twinkle, little star.'" How I wonder what you are. Daddy Zebra sings gently as he plays the piano. Soon his song has sent everyone to sleep. What a wonderful first sleepover this has been. Sweet dreams, Peppa. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories, so please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. A big happy Diwali. One day at play group. Madam Gazal tells the children about Diwali, the festival of lights. They all draw pictures, some draw fireworks, some draw lamps, all things that light up the night. The next day, Peppa and George wake up to sounds in the kitchen. Mommy and Daddy Pig are busy cooking. We are going to celebrate Diwali. Mommy Pig says, "Diwali is a holiday celebrated in India and around the world." Later on, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive with presents and traditional clothes for everyone to wear. "Hello, Peppa. Hello, George," says Granny Pig. Are you excited for Diwali? All over the world, families are coming together. Grandpa Pig says, "This year we wanted to join in too." Then Auntie and Uncle Pig ring the doorbell. The whole family has come to stay. "Hello, Chloe," Peppa says. "Hello, Baby Alexander." There are so many people in the house for the festival. I hope we have enough food. Mommy Pig says, "I will peel some more potatoes just in case." Daddy Pig says, "It's time for everyone to get changed into their special outfits from Granny and Grandpa Pig. Even Baby Alexander is dressed for the festival." Wow, Peppa says, everybody looks so beautiful. Now we are all ready. Mommy Pig says, it's time to light the lights. There are called dias. Peppa thinks they look like candles. Is it someone's birthday? She asks. Granny Pig chuckles. No, Peppa. These are lamps. Diwali is a celebration of light. The dias light up this night. Grandpa Pig says, "Dias shine all around the house." Finally, it is time to eat. 
Everything looks delicious, especially the sweets. What a feast, says Uncle Pig. Would you like seconds? Mommy Pig asks. Uncle Pig turns to ask Daddy Pig to pass him another potato. But Daddy Pig is not there. Where did he go? Peppa finds Daddy Pig waiting outside. What are you doing, Daddy? Peppa asks him. It's dark out here. Not for long, he says. Soon the sky lights up with fireworks. Pop, pop, pop. Everyone comes outside to watch together as a family. Happy Diwali, Daddy Pig cries. Happy Diwali, they all say back. Peppa loves Diwali. Everyone loves Diwali. The end. Please see the following page to learn more about the celebration of Diwali. Diwali. At least 1 billion people celebrate Diwali for 5 days every autumn. Diwali is a religious holiday day celebrated by Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists and Jains in India and around the world. Diwali is known as the Festival of Lights. Gathering with family is one of the Diwali's biggest tradition. Generations come together to play games, cook and spend time with one another. Many families host a big feast, serving all their favorite recipes. But the most important Diwali foods are sweets. It's tradition to give treats to friends and family as gifts. Diwali is great excuse to dress up. Two people often save their prettiest silks and finest jewelry to wear to the celebrations. On the third night of the festival, people celebrating Diwali place candles, lanterns and special oil lamps called diyas all around their homes. Fireworks are another common way to celebrate. These lights represent the victory of light over darkness. The end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care, friends. Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. I will read to you many stories. So please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Let's get started. Bubbly Bridge Today, Peppa and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey's Tree? Asked Peppa. You climb through the trees like Monkey, says Miss Rabbit. I just hope we don't have to climb too high, says Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You will be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance, oops, the wire will hold you, says Miss Rabbit. It looks fun, Peppa giggles. Me first, says Mommy Pig. And now me, I just have to keep my balance, says Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know what I was worried about. This is not high at all, says Daddy Pig. That's because this is the practice pit. The real course is high up in the treetops, says Miss Rabbit. Don't worry. I will be down here giving you advice, says Miss Rabbit. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go, says Miss Rabbit. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the bubbly bridge. Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. 
Hello, Danny, says Peppa. Hello, Peppa, says Danny. Wow, we are so high up, says Peppa. That's why it is called the Wobbly Bridge. You are doing great, says Miss Rabbit. He he he. Ah, uh, maybe I will wait for a bit, says Daddy Pig. Come on, Mr. Pig, says Susie Sheep. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold up? There is a queue behind, Daddy Pig. Ah, uh, what's going on? asks Mr. Fox. Sorry, everyone. Okay, here goes. Well, says Daddy Pig. Oh, there is nothing to walk on, says Mommy Pig. Ah, uh, I'm not sure, says Mommy Pig. Okay, here goes. Woo! Oh my goodness, this is a hard work. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. Woo! Says Mommy Pig. Mommy, Peppa, and George are hanging from the wire. Now, what do we do? Asks Mommy Pig. You need something big and heavy to push you across, says Miss Rabbit. Oh, I see where this is going. Hang on. Here I come, says Daddy Pig. Well done, Daddy Pig, says Mommy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. It's what my tummy was built for, says Daddy Pig. Everyone claps. This is the last bit. Mr. Rabbit will give you some help, says Miss Rabbit. Just decide if you want to go ahead or feet first, says Mr. Rabbit. Woohoo! Peppa and George, head or feet first, asks Mr. Rabbit. Ho ho! Well, I'm certainly not going to say head first, says Daddy Pig. Head first! Off you go! No! There has been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. Did you have fun? asked Miss Rabbit. Ho ho! I must admit, that was quite fun says Daddy Pig. No, Daddy, it was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever, says Peppa. Peppa loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. The end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Story Time with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories with me. Take care friends. Come to story time with Sonia Panda. Peppa Pig Peppa's Rainbow Peppa and her family are going to the mountains. Let's play a game, says Daddy Pig. We each have to spot a car of our favorite color. Yes, Peppa and George cheer. This will be fun. Let's see which color car comes along first, says Daddy Pig. Peppa is excited. Her favorite color is red. Beep, beep. Peppa and her family see a green car. Green is my favorite color says Daddy Pig. I win! Next, Peppa and her family see Danny and Grandad Dog in an orange tow truck. 
Orange is my favorite color, says Mommy Pig. I win. The next car is blue. Blue is George's favorite color. Yes, George, says Daddy Pig. It's a blue car, so you win. Peppa is disappointed. There isn't a red car anywhere, she says. Daddy Pig gets an idea. What color is our car? He asks. Peppa thinks about it. It's red, she says. I win, I win. Peppa and her family arrive at the top of the mountains. But it started to rain. The best thing to eat in rainy weather is ice cream. Thankfully, Miss Rabbit's ice cream cart is not far. Four ice creams, please, says Daddy Pig. He chooses mint, orange, strawberry, and blueberry flavors. Ice cream, cheers Peppa. And look, says Mommy Pig. They are our favorite colors. Soon the sun appears and something else too. A rainbow. A rainbow comes out only when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. That is because the light from the sun shines through the water of the rain. It's got all our favorite colors in it, says Mommy Pig. The colors in the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Mommy Pig says that sometimes you find treasures at the end of the rainbow. Let's go, Peppa shouts. Mommy Pig drives to the edge of a mountain. But when they arrive, it stopped raining and the rainbow is gone. There is something over here, Daddy Pig says. It's a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddles are made when the ground gets wet. Yay! This is the best rainbow treasure ever, says Peppa. Peppa loves rainbow. Everyone loves rainbows. The end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Storytime with Sonia Panda. I will come back with another story. Bye.